How many times have you said to your partner or you thought to yourself, we're not on the same page? We're just not. It feels like we're growing apart. It feels like, you know, you're going a different direction and I'm going a different direction. Or it feels like, you know, this is a classic one. I'm not in love with you anymore. I love you as a friend, but I don't love you the way I did when I first met. Some of you may have heard it. The, the majority of people have heard it or the majority of people have thought it and not said it. But the truth of the matter is that that is, that is a commonality in most relationships, especially if you have gotten married for the wrong reasons, gotten married too early, you know, had children before you got to know each other really well. And I mean, that would be a perfect situation, a perfect world, but it's not. Or you just are not compatible, but did not realize your incompatibility till now. Are all those things detrimental? Not really. It depends on you. It depends on what you want out of the relationship and where you're at in this present moment. It doesn't have to be the end of the relationship. It can actually be a beginning if both of you decide that that's what you want to commit to. Growing apart versus growing together is something that most relationships will encounter if any of the variables I mentioned earlier are involved. If you got together and you got together for the wrong reasons, what are the wrong reasons? The wrong reasons are lust, obsession, passion, um, feeling like you know you can't live without this person, is some co sort of codependency. There's a lot of the wrong reasons that people get together. And of course there are right reasons, but the one right reason why people should get together is because they've spent time getting to know each other or they're planning on getting to know each other even after they've gotten together. The reason why people grow apart is they just do. But more importantly than why people grow apart is the reasons why they want to continue growing together. And continuous growth is reliant on commitment. If both of you are not committed to the process, it makes the process difficult to navigate. If one of you has already disengaged and decided you don't want to continue, then it becomes a matter of acceptance for the other person or a matter of the other person recognizing your truth. Sometimes that's difficult and sometimes it doesn't happen. And then you have all this discord and all this dysfunction within a relationship. I wrote some notes here, so I want to cover this in detail because I've thought about this and I've dealt with this a lot in relationship therapy. And I want you to understand that it's a commonality and there's a natural frustration that comes with it, a natural lack of, you know, you don't know what to do with this information when you realize that you're not growing together. So hopefully what I'm going to tell you will help you understand what you need to do if you, cho if you choose to do it, or you both want to do it, because it takes two, right? And that's, that's pretty much how we're going to tackle this. So, you know, the attention and habits. Most people start checking out when there's a shift in your, you start noticing there's a shift in the attention from the other person, or the person's habits, or actions, or time. You know, there's never enough more time for you anymore. You the window of time that the person gave you starts getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You start complaining about you don't have time together. It's like smoking cigarettes, right? People who want to smoke, they smoke. They find a way to smoke. And they also find the cigarettes even if they don't have money. It's the same thing here. If you wanted to find time, you can find time. It's a matter of wanting to make the time. When you want to make the time, it makes a big difference in how that time manifests. The other thing is, you know, when you get married too early, it's like you don't really get to experience your youth. You know how many times I've encountered people that say, you know what? We didn't really get to enjoy our youth. I didn't get to date other people. I didn't get to see other people. You know, there's a lot of different things that manifest when people get married too young. And then you have the other perspective where people get married older and they should know better and they should have learned from their mistakes or their errors and they didn't because some people are still in love with love you know there's such a thing as love addiction which is actually codependency some people have love addiction where they're looking for that thing they're searching for that person and remember 
the, 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 the true mark of a truly healthy relationship and a relationship that will work is not so much being in love with the person, but being committed to the process that you started with the person. Commitment is what makes a healthy relationship. Commitment to the process, commitment to the growth, commitment to pushing through those, those points in your relationship that are difficult. Those points in your relationship where you wake up and you're like, okay, this is not feeling good. I don't want to do this anymore. All of those things are going to happen. But what happens is your response and reaction to those things. I wrote here, you know, that most people believe that they're getting to know the other person and that that should be instantaneous. You do not, I'm in a 20 year relationship. You do not know that person and you cannot know that person intimately in a year or two or three or four. So you have to commit to the knowledge and to the, and, and to the awareness that getting to know this other person is gonna take time. Getting to know the you know, nuances, the idiosyncrasies, the things that maybe you don't like, you know, are the things you don't, that you don't want yourself, you don't want to do yourself, but this other person is doing. It's all about compromise and compromise and commitment are the two things that form, help form the foundation for a healthy relationship. Growing apart is inevitable because at some point you're going to have to deal with not just your own emotional self, but your own, you know, your own spiritual self and psychological self that is dealing with things outside of your partner or your relationship. There are things that you have to deal with. There are things that you need to tackle. And if you have not dealt with those things, those things are going to intersect and interrupt the process of growing with this other person unless you learn how to share yourself, unless you know how to be honest with yourself, truthful with your partner. And that's pretty much it. You have to help the other person understand where you're at, and the other person has to decide if they're willing to meet you there or if they can or cannot. Honesty is a big part of growing together or growing apart. My name is Ingrid Felton. I hope that this added some kind of value or gave you some golden nugget to help you understand that what you're dealing with is nothing new. There's not, you know, King Solomon said it in Ecclesiastes chapter three. He said, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new. Relationships, all relationships go through similar, the similar protocols or similar journey. And the only difference about those relationships is where the people are at. Where are you at? Do a self inventory. Check yourself to see where you're at. Be honest with yourself and share that truth with your partner. What you guys choose to do from there, it should be a collaborative effort and it should be one that you're committed to. Again, my name is Ingrid Felton. Thank you as always for visiting your YouTube channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking the videos. You can call me 813-708-9064. Uh, leave your name and, and telephone number or your, a message and I will get back to you and continue to tell others about what I'm doing here. Share. Sharing is caring. If you care for me, please share. Have a great day. Bye.